In a world where people are intoxicated by wealth, Africa's second richest woman, Florence Shaw Alakija, has chosen to make impact with her wealth by torching the most vulnerable in the Nigerian society. The plight of widows and the very lowly has always been a burden on her mind, but with every step towards bringing circa to them, laughter and hope replace hopelessness. <laughs> Following Shaw Alakija, the vice chair of Famfa Oil, a Nigerian oil exploration company with a stake in Abami Oil Field, a prolific offshore asset, expresses her passion to serve humanity through the Rose of Sharon Foundation. For her, it is in obedience to God's leading. In 2018, the foundation marked its 10th anniversary amidst pomp and fanfare, flooded with riveting testimonies of life-changing impact. Until 2011, when I came in contact with Rose of Sharon Foundation, ever since then, it has been joy all around. As a young widow, the foundation tried as much as possible to wipe away my tears. Though it's not so easy, but Mama tried. I can't have Mama because she's really a mother and a grandmother. She took care of me. She took care of my children. She inherited my children as a grandchildren. And even when I made a, I made a move or set up a crutch, I sent it to the foundation. And they came to me, they checked out every other facilities, which was known, but they encouraged me. Today, not just the French, I have an approved nursery and primary school from Lagos State Ministry of Education. Mama did not stop there. She tried as much as possible to give me interest-free loan, which no bank has ever done. Even the Islamic banking that has ever pushed it, I have not benefited from them. But Mama did it as a single person, giving me an interest-free loan. I lost my dad. I became fatherless at six months. And I lost my mom when I was two years old. The struggle has been so, so much. When I was in secondary school, my brother had to stop his own school to work, to get money for the house. Ever since the 25th of March, 2011, I was in GS2. Mommy Alakija has been a blessing to us. By God's grace, my brother went back to school. My school fees was paid. And still out of the little mommy gives us, my brother was able to learn trade. Now my brother is a very, very good stylist. By God's grace, me, myself, I'm a dance trainee and an actor. By God's grace, my elder sister, She's a teacher, and she went to a teaching school. She's done now, all thanks to Mommy Alakija. In words and action, 
Mrs. Salakija continues to sustain her chosen path. As an NGO, our vision is to provide help and succor for widows and orphans across Nigeria and hopefully to other parts of the world, God helping us. And our mission is to guarantee financial independence and educational opportunities for them through schemes and programs that assure greater self-esteem and ease of socioeconomic integration. These we have pursued vigorously in the last decade. I and all members of the Board of Trustees are extremely excited that the journey which started 10 years ago as an instruction from the Lord has evolved to an organization that has impacted the lives of over 3,000 widows directly through our vocational skills empowerment programs. Lauren Shaw Alakija, a Nigerian billionaire businesswoman, is involved in the fashion, oil, real estate, and printing industries. And from the boardroom, she moves to the crusade ground at the National Stadium in Suruleri, Lagos. One thing we ask of you, one thing that we desire. As we worship you, Lord, come and change our lives. One thing we ask of you, one thing that we desire. That as we worship you, Lord, come and change our lives. Say, arise! arise, arise. It's day one of a three-day outreach. Praises fill the air amidst the downpour. Themed in the day of his power, the congregation dare the rains, dancing to find gospel tunes from popular gospel artists. Bukola Beckes takes the stage by storm. <laughs> You are mighty. 
The Lord has prepared his daughter, the daughter of Zion, the servant leader of the Rose of Sharon Glorious Ministry International, Mrs. Falonsha Alakida. Can we all rise? Father, we cannot thank you enough for your mercies, for your grace, for your goodness, and for all that you have planned to do in this place tonight. So I welcome you all to the first day of our third crusade. And our theme is in the day of his power, which is taken from the book of Psalms, 110 verse 3. A message is filled with faith-boosting words and encouragement, challenging the people to trust, hope, and believe in God more in all of their endeavors. The day of God's power is the day of visitation. It's the day of visitation. Who is going to be visited here today? By my Father. It is the day of remembrance. He will remember you for good. All that you have been waiting on him for, he will remember you tonight. In the name of Jesus. You have cried, you have sown, sown in so many different ways. You have sown with tears, you have sown with money. Everywhere he told you to sow, you sowed. You were obedient. Tonight is your night of harvest. In the name of Jesus. This is the day of healing where the blind will see, where the deaf will be touched and they will hear. It is the day of healing. Where the dumb will speak. In the name of Jesus. It is the day of supernatural blessing. Divinely orchestrated by the one and only father that we know. The three in one God. Tonight is the day of his power. When the power of God shows up. What happens? Your story changes for his glory. That will be your testimony. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that from today henceforth, you shall not be unjustly accused. In the name of Jesus, how many are ready to wave their hands for that call of the Lord that is asking you now that if you do not yet know the Lord and you want to enjoy that power and want to be a recipient of that power, I'd like to ask you to come to the front right now. Worshippers get into deep exaltation and high praise of God in songs and dancing, led by Yetunde Are. From one song ministration to the other, taking the large crowd to the spiritual realm, the major reason for the national crusade holding in an area notorious for crimes. Mrs. Forlorn Shalakija makes her way to the podium amidst deep worship 
a trend she has adopted since the beginning of the crusade. Praise the Lord! Praise the living Jesus! Her message focuses on the power of God to heal, deliver and save. We read in the Bible about the paralytic that met with Jesus in the book of Mark chapter 2 verses 1 to 12. Jesus was met at home by a multitude and some friends of a paralytic man looked around them and they said, how can we get to the Jesus that's down there with this crowd in front of us? They applied wisdom. They decided to come through the roof. They carried their friend on his sick bed. And the, the Bible says they lowered him down into the presence of Jesus. And Jesus decided in his heart that he would not allow this one go the way he came. You will not go the way you came. In the name of Jesus. The power of God descended mightily. So I can imagine what went on in the minds of those who were looking at what was about to happen. And what did Jesus say? He said, the guy should get up. And he was healed to the amazement of all those who are watching. And it was immediate. You will receive immediate healing in the name of Jesus. She cries out to the crowd to receive the call of salvation through Jesus Christ. Those who do not yet know Jesus, those who have not had an encounter with him, I'm inviting you right now to come out and be a partaker of what I have been enjoying, what so many others have been enjoying throughout this place and all over the world. Many step out at the call. God is able, able to do a new thing in your life. Like the previous days, the last day of the 2019 National Crusade hosts more expression of worship. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the giver of life that will live. Come on, open up your mouth and bless his name. He's worthy of our praise. We worship him. Great is thy faithfulness. O oh Lord, my Father, there is no shadow of turning with thee, no change of none, thy compassion they fail not, as thou art been, as thou art been, as thou art been, as thou art been, thou forever will be. Prayers and more songs of praise take the atmosphere. Everybody say, come on, come Foremost gospel artist Sami Oposu lifts the evening with soul lifting songs of worship. That is why we came tonight. Come on, bless his soul. One more time. Everybody say, come on. It's all about you tonight. Come on, bless his holy name. Sweep your handkerchief. And as usual of him, he leads a wild praise session. <laughs> The servant leader takes her place on the podium, set to release declarations upon the people. Onishara, 
Kavi O Si Onishara Onishe Yano Kavi Esire Kavi O Si Glorify yourself, Father. Father, come and show off in our midst. Come and show off your power, your glory, your majesty, and all that you are made of. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Amen. And all the people said, Amen. you may be seated in his presence. If you exercise your faith without doubting, you will receive. That is what the Bible says. If you look in the book of James chapter 2, 17, that faith without works is dead. When you take an action to back up your faith that you say you have, that is when the healing takes place. That is when something happens. That is when you see the power of God descend mightily into your life, into your situation, and into this place. For those who were here on Thursday, you will recall the storm that we experienced. Judging by that, we, the organizers of this program, in the following morning, we felt it might be best to put canopies in place for the next day's program. And then at the last minute, we pinched ourselves and we said, if, but if we do that, how have we exercised our faith? If God says he's for us, who can be against us? So we said, no more canopies. We will not hire any canopy, apart from the one that's for to, to look after the people that are, you know, being medically looked after and those and the food and all of that. But as for the rest of us, we are here. Guess what happened on Friday when we exercised our faith? When we said we had almost ordered the canopies and then we said, stop, we don't want any more canopies. When we were going home, and I'm sure many of you experienced it. Surulele was flooded. Idioro was flooded. Everywhere you turned. However, this place that God had marked down as holy ground for these three days was completely dry. Praise the Lord. I declare that Jesus will deliver you from every sickness, from every disease, with the great power that is in this place tonight, in the name of Jesus. When others are saying that they're casting down, as for me and my household, it's a lifting up. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus.